Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Today, we continue with our SQL accounting system tutorial and I'll talk about user password setting with two steps verification. Now, I'll be using the latest version, SQL accounting system version 781. In this version, you can actually go to Tools, Option, and you can see that there's a new option called Password Policy. Now, let's start. The first setting is called maximum password age in days. Example, I take this option and I put 30, meaning that all user password will be expired in 30 days. After 30 days, all users are forced to change their password. Second is the password length. A set put 8, meaning that all user password, the minimum is Eight character. Third one is called Save Password History. Maximum up to five. Let's say I put three, meaning that the system will save your previous three password. Let's say you want to change any password, it cannot use before three times before. Okay, so you need to figure out a new password. Then you can have at least one upper cap, upper case letter. You can have at least one lower case letter, at least one number, or at least one non-alphanumeric character or special character. So this is the password policy applied to all user in the accounting system. Let's say you are just one user, no multi-user, or you do not require very high security. So you can just ignore all this. That means you aren't take, okay? But for bigger organizations, they're very concerned about security. This is a very good features for them. So now, bigger organizations, they can start to use SQL because we have this kind of security. So this is the policy part. Then what we need to do? Let's go to create a new user. So we go to tools, we go to maintain user. Okay, how to maintain a user, how to set the uh, access right will be in my other tutorial video. So today what we are going to do is we create a new user. Maybe the user is called Wendy. Okay, name I also put Wendy. Remember all the code in SQL Accounting System is alphanumeric. So save it. So you have this new user. So of course for all you new user, you need to assign a password for them first. So what you need to do is go to more, arrow down, reset password. And you can see that there's a new password. So copy password to click mark. Yes. So the system already copied the password. And what you should do is you should email this password to the user. Okay. So control V is paste so the system will paste the password just now you can put your temporary password okay your temporary password is this so you email to the user then she can use this password to log in now see what happened so assuming Wendy tried to log in using the new user password, then when she log in, the system will prompt the password has expired and must be changed. So paste again the password and she is forced to change the a new password. Now, what this will help? Imagine, let's say with the old way of doing password setting, the admin will have the rights to know all the password for all users. Just in case she want to do bad thing and, and pretend it's another user, then that cannot be prevented. But with the new features, this can be prevented. And only the user will know his own or her own password. No other person, not even the manager or admin. So this is a good security features. Now, this is the first part. What I want to show you is actually the second part. Okay, let's log in as admin. 
Okay. Now, the second part is the actual two-step verification. It's over here. And the file two-step verification. Go in. So you can put in your current password. So this will involve your smartphone. Are you using an Android phone? Are you using an iPhone? Are you using a Windows phone? Now, for example, I'm using an iPhone. So what I need to do is I need to download an app called Google Authenticator. You need to download this app. Let's say you're using um, Android, then you can download similar app through your Google Play Store. So you download this app, and what this app actually will do is every 30 seconds okay before of course before you after you download then you need to go into SQL accounting system you need to scan this bar code, uh, QR code after you scan this QR code then you need there will be a number the number will look something like this so it will add into your authenticator apps SQL account with your username or with your user ID so this is your code then you just key in into this part then pair meaning that your phone authentication apps is paired with SQL accounting system so every 30 seconds this code will change then whenever you log into SQL accounting system you are required instead just use the password there will be a second step of verifications from your phone then you 100% can sure that no one else can log into SQL accounting system using your password because this code will change every 30 seconds now personally I used it for my own Google email account so you can be very sure that you are safe for any uh, hacking from your collect and things like that so this is very powerful authentications or security for SQL accounting system well I must say a, a good job for the programming part so this is about how we set the user password setting with the two step verifications just in case you want to watch other tutorial video you are welcome to go to my website is syntech.com.my and let's say you are interested to purchase SQL accounting system or SQL payroll system or even sign the yearly maintenance with us then welcome to contact me directly once again I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies Thank you.